Okay, so here's a little video showing the Satec multi-panel problem with the buttons registering properly within Flight Simulator. So to start, we're going to run the little Pro Flight Panel multi-panel test program that comes with it. And when you run the test program, everything works perfectly. The buttons all register properly. You can push the buttons and, and you can see they get registered by the, uh, the test app. I'm pushing the buttons here. And as I push the buttons, they register on the screen, just as you'd expect. And the dial works, and the auto throttle switch, and the flaps, and the trim, and, and the selector button over here on the side. Everything works. It's just, it's, everything is just perfect. All right, so now we'll close this. And now we're going to fire up Flight Simulator. All righty. And load the, load the plugins, as you'd expect. Alrighty. Now we're going to free flight and we'll just load a little uh, Cessna at Portland International Airport. And when the flight loads, almost done. There we are. And it works and there's your display and you can dial up altitude and you can dial up vertical speed or indicated airspeed or anything you like. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up another display here. Let's do cockpit radio stack. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. All right. So on the virtual screen, as I dial the buttons, you can see it works fine. And if I gear and this, this works, everything works. Uh, the flaps work, the trim works, everything works. But notice, so we'll dial up an altitude, let's say 2,000 feet, doesn't really matter what we do here. And on the screen, in the virtual cockpit, if I click any of these buttons, those buttons light up on the multi-panel, just as you'd expect. This works exactly as you'd want it to. The buttons come in and go as I'm clicking away, clicking away, clicking away. And if I turn off the autopilot, there we go, autopilot's off. Now. But if I push buttons, excuse me, if I push buttons on here, I get different results. If I push the heading button, the autopilot light comes on, but the heading button does not come on. And I can push heading again and again and again and nothing happens and nothing happens with nav or IS or any of these, right? But if I push net, but if I push rev, right, approach comes on. And approach comes on here. Bizarre. And I could push it again and again and nothing happens. And if I push heading, nothing. And if I push nav, it goes out. And if I push autopilot, it doesn't go out. I have the sound muted if I unmute the sound, sorry. And if I push the autopilot button, you get the beep that you would normally expect but it doesn't actually turn off. And you can press it again and again and again and the autopilot still stays lit. Kind of hard to see. So there you have it. The display works, the controls work, but the buttons kind of don't. Not quite sure what's going on. And there's my problem. There you go. Good luck.